but then after I did it because it wasn't really fading because it wasn't really fading out as perfectly as I wanted it to which I feel like I shouldn't be concerned that it's not perfect because I did it myself but I didn't really like it so I painted it with this color that I bought and Brittany was like oh my gosh they looked so nice just the way they were I could not believe you painted them hi guys it's <laughs> Today is December 3rd and I left out a little bit late because I finally got that package from Fashion Oval that I've been waiting on for the absolute longest and I wanted to like run through the stuff that were in there and I did that real quick. One of the trench coats that I bought, it fits me but it's like my exact size so when I go back home I'm gonna try it on with like a what do you call that I'm gonna try it on with a little dress to see if it fits nicely because when I tried it on just now I was wearing my sweater and another top so probably had too much clothes on however I feel like for the type of trench coat it is it's supposed to fit a little big so I'm gonna also ask Brittany when I go to work if she wants it and if she does I'm gonna sell it to her and buy it back in a bigger size so it gives me the fit that I actually want um, I'm still waiting on another package from Fashion Nova because I ordered two stuff which is so annoying is it two or three I can't even remember but I'm so mad now but I'm still waiting to get that other one especially because it's some items in there that are for gifts so I need to get it real quick because Christmas is coming and people need their Christmas gifts on time so there's that I went through a bag of stuff that I bought from Old Navy for my daughter and I'm just waiting. I went to Brittany's house last night and I did my nails, which I'm so excited about because I wanted to do them for a while. But the thing is, I think I've said it before, I can't do them at home. So I went there first to do, I went to Brittany's first to do mine and then her best friend was there and I ended up doing hers instead. And then um, I went back last night to do mine initially i wanted like ombre which i did because the insides are green i bought some new acrylic powder they're so pretty but then after i did it because it wasn't really fading because it wasn't really fading out as perfectly as i wanted it to which i feel like i shouldn't be concerned that it's not perfect because i did it myself but i didn't really like it so I painted it with this color that I bought. And Brittany was like, oh my gosh, they looked so nice just the way they were. I could not believe you painted them. But it's painting over um, like French tips has always been something that I did too. Especially when I used to pay to get my nails done. I used to be like, listen, I want two for the price of one because I get tired of something really quickly. Which means if I get a color now, I might be tired of it in two weeks. So I might wanna change it over. What if I don't have money to go back in two weeks? So I used to get French tips and then have them paint the French tips so that I wear the polish for like two weeks and then rub it off and then I have French tips. <laughs> I said it to a girl the other day too and she was like, whoa, I need to start doing that. I was dying. So Brittany and I took an Uber this morning that dropped her off at work and then dropped me home and I slept for like an hour and then got up and started getting ready for work because you know how when you go over to your friend's house half the time you end up sitting up and talking. So while I was doing my nails we were up talking and we were up for a while. I think about 12 o'clock or like 1am. So um 
we went to bed a little late. So I was still kind of tired this morning and I had to wake her up. I'm like, yo, Brittany, wake up. And she's like, 30 minutes more. <laughs> she's gonna be so mad when she sees this. I even snapped her, but I'm almost at work. So I'm gonna go as usual.